Uh, I'm Dick Samuels, and I direct the Center for International Studies, and I'm delighted to see so many of you here, and in particular, uh, delighted this afternoon to, to host the conversation you're going to have with uh, Admiral William Fallon uh, on, on issues of, uh, on global issues of national importance for the next administration. Uh, Admiral Fallon's career, very distinguished career, is I think uh, very well known to most of you. Uh, from March 2007 and for a year following until March of 2008, uh, he led the U.S. Central Command, CENTCOM, which is one of the five geographic joint military commands of the U.S. Armed Forces that are led by uh, four-star uh, generals or admirals. Uh, during his tenure as uh, CENTCOM uh, commander, he was responsible for U.S. operations in Iraq uh, and in Afghanistan and directed all U.S. military activities in the Middle East, in Central Asia, and in the Horn of Africa. Uh, prior to uh, going to, to CENTCOM, he served as commander of the U.S. Pacific Command with responsibility for U.S. military operations in the Asia-Pacific region and previously served as commander of the U.S. Fleet Forces Command, the U.S. Atlantic Fleet, and was the 31st Vice Chief of Naval Operations. Upon retiring from a distinguished career for 41 years, uh, Admiral Fallon joined the MIT Center for International Studies, where he is now as the Robert Wilhelm uh, Fellow, and we're delighted to have him share his thoughts with you this afternoon. Bill. Well, Dick, thank you very much. We're going to try something. Does that work? Okay. Use, use the other mic. Well, I'm uh, grateful to have, uh, have this nice turnout, particularly uh, given the weather and given uh, your choice of uh, speakers uh, just down the road. Um, what I thought I'd do is uh, try to, to live up to the, uh, the promise here in terms of talk and make this uh, really a conversation. Uh, I have no intention to lecture, so if anybody's going to take notes for a quiz, uh, you can rest easy uh, and put, uh, put those pencils down. Uh, what I thought I would do is uh, talk to you a little bit about myself and background. Dick was kind enough to tell you what I've been doing the last few years, but I've actually spent quite a bit of time in uniform, uh, about 45 to be uh, almost exact. And uh, I ought to tell you that uh, my naval career didn't start out very auspiciously. And uh, just to give you a little bit of background, uh, in uh, 1962, I was a high school student and uh, was informed that I had actually uh, passed and done pretty well by some accounts in a national test. In those days, the Navy had a unique a scholarship program that they offered around the country at some uh, select schools, including this one. And, uh, and so I was invited to come down for some additional testing to see if my body was functioning correctly and uh, to uh, be on the receiving end of a, quote, interview. And uh, so I went down to Philadelphia and I got in a long line of about uh, 30 folks there from around the Northeast. And uh, we proceeded in this line and noticed people would disappear into one of three doors down at the end of the hall. And uh, as they returned, uh, two-thirds of them seemed to be in pretty good spirits. And then the other third uh, decidedly dejected. And so we asked them for the gouge, as we say in the Navy, uh, what's going on down there? And uh, the word came back that of the three doors, there were two young lieutenants inside, and they were just great guys. And then there was this really crusty old salt Navy captain, probably about 42, 43 years old in, in truth. And he was really bad news. And uh, you really wanted to make sure you avoided that door. So as my time came, I could see how this was going to work out. And sure enough, I went inside the third door. And uh, by way of background, I should tell you that it turns out that the captain behind the door was a uh, submarine officer, a uh, nuclear power uh, person trained by Admiral Rickover. And those that are too young to, to know, uh, Admiral Rickover was quite a figure, both in and outside the Navy. And uh, within the Navy, he was uh, most famous for his interviews, in which he conducted, uh, we thought, with the express purpose of trying to make the uh, interviewee feel as uncomfortable as humanly possible, and to leave with the impression that uh, you were completely insignificant in the presence of the august admiral. 
And so this captain had taken his cue from his experiences. And as I walked in, I found him head down, uh, buried in some papers. And I stood there, and he never moved, never made a sound. And so I wasn't in the military. I didn't know how to deal with this, didn't have any, uh, didn't come from a military family. And so I kind of stood there, and then I thought, maybe he expects me to stand at attention. So I made some effort to, to pull my shoulders back and stand up. And whereupon he looked up and said, what are you doing here? 